The A300 AI has three control buttons that allow you to select various display options and access specific information when you want to see it. From left to right we have the Mode button, the Advance button, and the Select button. Each button has two states. A simple push for less than two seconds, let's call this Press. And push and hold for two or more seconds, let's call this Hold. The main menu has several submenus. You can move to the next submenu by pressing the Advance button, and the previous by pressing Mode. By holding either the Advance or Mode button, you can also quickly scroll menus or values. Pressing the Select button will enter a submenu or save a setting. If you hold the Select button, the A300 AI steps back a menu level. This submenu is mainly used when planning a nitrox dive. To enter the Set F submenu, while at the surface press the Mode button to enter the main menu. Then press either Mode or Advance until you reach the Set menu. Press Select. Then press Select again to enter the Set F submenu. Let's look at the FO2 Gas 1. Press Select to enter it. You can program the FO2 value for Gas 1 to either Air or 21 to 100%. To change the FO2 value, press the Advance button until you see the desired value on the screen. Let's set it to 32%. You will notice that as we scroll the FO2 set point, the corresponding MOD and PO2 will be displayed. When FO2 gas 1 is set for a numerical value, the dive is considered nitrox and the NX icon will be displayed. Press the select button to save the value and continue to the PO2 for gas 1. This setting is mainly used when diving nitrox and allows you to set the maximum oxygen partial pressure for gas 1. You can set this alarm from 1.2 to 1.6 ATA. To change the PO2 value, press Motor or Advance until you see the desired value on the screen. Let's set it to 1.4 ATA. In this video we have given you an overview of the Aeris A300 AI settings. To learn more about the A300 AI, take the A300 AI online specialty class at divecomputertraining.com. To practice with the A300 AI, use the eDiving Scuba Diving Simulator.